we're uh, here we're taking down the fir trees at the water tank. Um, Julio climbed this tree here. You can see the stump. Stump right there somewhere. Oh yeah, there it is. Anyway, that tree's down. Uh, he's coming back tomorrow to get these two down. That was the hard one because he had to rope down every branch so it didn't fall in their tank. Um, anyway, so Jimmy and I are pulling all this brush out, which it gives us a chance to get started and get ahead of them. Getting these trees out of here on the brush out. Um, the problem is, once again, the mayor's one burying this water line six inches into the leaves. I had no idea. I've never seen it. We never, never dealt with this before. I just assumed it was buried. But I was pulling a log out. Of course, I had to keep it low to the ground so I don't tip over. And uh, it was just, it just was scraping into the ground enough. It caught this pipe with one of the limbs and just yanked it apart right here. So this is our main line coming from the well. It comes all the way up the hill, comes up, feeds the tank, and then it's a one-way valve, and then the water comes back down the same pipe and feeds my house, the barn, everything down there. Stone barn. So it's used, when it's not pumping this way, it's it's pressure and back gravity and back to the houses in the barn if that makes sense to you anyway it's it's used both directions and it's our main water line two inch water line and they got it sitting here like i said in six inches of leaves <laughs> i mean they had it buried a little bit but not much so what we're going to do, instead of trying to fix it, we got to get these other two trees out of here still. I am going to cap it. The water tank is full. There's 8,000 gallons in there. So your house and the pool, not that the pool's using any water yet, but it's not using any water, but your house, uh, you have 8,000 gallons for the next week, which will be plenty. And then... We're going to cap the one coming up and then we'll, we're on the well. So my house, the barn, everything is on the pressure system, which is our new well. So we'll have plenty of water, unlimited water down there. And you'll have 8,000 gallons up here. So anyway, we're just going to cap both sides and we'll fix it afterwards because, like I said, we got to get these trees through here and I don't want to dig this up right now. And then we can decide later what you want to do, whether you want to <laughs> just do a repair or whether you want to put a new water line in. I'm, I'm assuming you'll just want to do a repair. It's probably will be fine. We just, we're not going to be working over here, I don't think. Anyway, just wanted to show you that.